Sobalski at one of the hottest teams in hockey will look to keep their win streak intact on the ice tonight. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Jones. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Sends a pass over. Quick feed to Michael. Scores! And the road team quickly gets on the board, and this place got quiet quick. Well, it's always tough when you're on the road, James, but when you get off to a good start, you're prepared, and you turn the momentum. It's all in your favor. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Minnesota's got one early in this one. Now, do they continue to attack, or do they try to protect here, Cheryl? Ah, it's early in the game. You have to continue to attack, especially when your opponent looks like they haven't even settled in. Puck is dropped, and play resumes. Passes it over to Johns. Great pressure with the stick. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Michael's the player you want in those one-on-one -on -one situations against the goalie guys. His all-alone zone ability means he has the edge when he gets in by himself and usually finishes the play with a puck in the cage. Pinned up along the boards. And that's snapped away by Marner. Quick pass over to Riley. Receives the pass. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Play whistle dead offside the call. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's ahead, 1-0. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Haynes tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight. trying to create some space, but it bobbles off a stick, and he lost possession. Drives to the sweet spot. Gives them nothing in front. They've got an on-man rush across the line. Just broken up with a great defensive effort there. Oh, he just got thunderstruck. Well, he did. I mean, closing so quickly. No time and space there and just crushes him. What a hit. In order to dictate the tempo of the game right at the onset of it, you want to make your opponent think and hear you coming, and that's what he does with that first hit. Win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Handles the pass. Drager has got it to the side. One times it. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. Chris has been a reason why his team's in the win column. I mean, he's done everything he could between the pipes as he they score. And it's back to back to. Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. This is a great goal, James, but it all starts with the pass. But how about the deep before the pass? Uh, I mean, drawing the coverage to yourself so that you can open the space to be able to distribute the puck, that's a beauty. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. And off the draw, they take the puck. There's only one goal away. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder! Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gotta be looking for the Hattie. Well, that quick glove hand looks like a windmill, James. I think that was meant for the highlight reel. Unfortunately, you gotta catch the puck if you wanna make it there. Minnesota 
Minnesota's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Read that perfectly with the poke check. The Wilds have taken to the offensive attack. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Now he takes it over the line. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The Wild have it penalized for goaltender interference. to escape the zone. Picked up along the boards by Riley. Moves it quickly over to Koibu. How did he stop that one? Jones is in a tough spot, and this is part of the gig. When you're the second goaltender, you come in cold, but does a great job of making that save and really getting settled in with calm and composure early. Gets it out of his own end. The Leafs are going to have to move it up quickly here if they're going to capitalize on this power play. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Stalls ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Toronto's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. Michaels almost out of the box. Picked up along the wall by Tavares. The Leafs certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. The well, a side that they haven't rolled over just yet here, Cheryl. Well, any life is good life right now when you're looking at this kind of deficit, James. And if you're the goal scorer, you certainly feel good about yourself. But from a collective group and, and the units that are going out there, they're going to have to find a way to generate offense. And hey, they're going to take some risks out here because they got to get a few. Toronto's finally got one back after being pounded all period long. James, they definitely dug themselves a hole in this first period, but that's a positive. They're gonna have to build on that because a lot of runway left in this game. Minnesota's gonna start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that faceoff. Coughs it up on the play. Puck battle along the boards. Unable to reach that one. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And he turned that one aside. 
And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Granlin's dependent upon to win faceoffs and take possession right off the puck drop. Guys, his quick draw zone ability means he's great in the dots. Marner's known for being a playmaker and using his third eye zone ability to find his teammates with the perfect pass. Those are two players I know I'm going to be keeping an eye on tonight. Let's see if one of them can give their team the upper hand. Guys, back to you. Toronto's have put up a lot of shots so far here in the first, but they still haven't found any finish or any solid results yet. Minnesota's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Uses the force on that hit. Takes a shot. What a glove save by Jones. More than half the frame has been played here. Toronto's been dominated to this point, trailing by three. Tavares, quick on the draw. From center, they get into the attacking area. Moves it to Cullen. And now he tries to get it across to Commonville. Bertuzzi got it against the boards. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Here's a short pass to Patan. Denies that opportunity. Goaltenders have to be able to read where the puck is going to, and he reads it perfectly as he has a strong push cross post and makes the save. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Fires it on net. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position. Because... So a little sign of life here on the ice as they try to get back. The net. Let's see if it's sustainable now. Well, I don't think anyone was expecting this move from him, James. It's unpredictable. He catches everyone off guard except his teammate, who's able to cash in with a beautiful pass. The Leafs have suddenly made this a two-goal game now. Well, and this is critical here to be within two. There's so much game left, two full periods, and they got to really change the denominator coming into the second. Some solid defensive work in the road in with the poke check. Run some hard against the boards. Oh, my, you can feel that from the scores. They strike a kid, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. The Leafs have answered back here in the back half of the first period. Well, it hasn't been pretty, James, but certainly changes the mindset as they get within one. A lot of confidence now at this faceoff with their opponents now on their heels. Quick pass to Nylander. Tremendous hit on the play, and that opens up some space. Grabbed along the boards by Martin. The Wild have possession along the boards. Quick feed to Kane. And he slides it quickly to Niskanen. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. And, and I'm right there with you, James. He scores! And we're all evened up! Well, it looks like they've reset the table, I mean, didn't get the start that they wanted, found themselves behind the eight ball, but it's amazing. James, it's an old cliche, but the game is never over until it's over. Here in the later stages of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Pokes it away in his own end. Slip feed. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Matthews. Silverberg stick handling in his own zone. Looking to set up offensively. Puck grab by Matthews. Through center along the wing. Great heads up play with the stick by Gostas Bear. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Dished on over to Matthews. Toronto's got it along the wall. And that's a smart heads up play by Prosser. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. 
Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Shoot. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Michael's got a lot of flash to his game, in particular with his hands and the ability to manipulate his opponent, but he gets caught on that one and the puck dies on his stick. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. with a chance to recharge and refresh and this second period about set to get underway. Neither team getting an edge in the opening frame, but what a seesaw back and forth game it's been so far. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up through the first 20 minutes? Minnesota's fortunate the game is still tied here, James. They have a minority of shots on net. They're going to have to get it some attack mentality, a sense of urgency, and drive the net. Moves it to Enron. Michael's been so dangerous. Scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the selling. The energy is certainly there, and now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it, and then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Minnesota's gone up by one here in the second period, and I like that jump in their step we're starting to see here now. We've really seen an uptick in their momentum in the last few shifts, and they're rewarded with that goal, James. They've got to continue to attack the net, ski downhill, and not be afraid to get to the paint. Looking to make something happen along the boards. There's a solid collision. Huge hit in the corner. Here's a short pass to Riley. Corrado's on the attack. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. And he makes the save on that play. What a sequence. I mean, he has been outstanding making consecutive saves. I mean, his defense, they got to start playing. Crisp's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. Crisp's mobility is one of his biggest strengths. He's able to use his post-to-post -post zone ability to cut across the crease, make big stops on the opposition, and it's something we should keep an eye on, guys. And he gets in front of that. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Koibu's got it on the offensive end. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Leafs have it now. And it's a quick pass to Bertuzzi. Moves along the boards with some purpose. From the point, they take control of it. Stopped by the goaltender. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. The Leafs have been the busier team offensively with plenty of scoring chances. Just no finish, and they trail here in period two. Gregor's won the draw here in the offensive zone. He's got a little jump. He's in! Denies him on the breakaway! Oh, and he makes another save! Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Such an impressive save. Love looking at this one again, James. You know that this goaltender is dialed in, so focused, when they're doing everything to get to the puck and keep their opponent at bay. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Minnesota's leading by one. They're up 5-4. Stahl's got it. they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Minnesota's going to play the first score. And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Well, he gets all of this one, and you know that players, they can shoot off one foot from behind them, in front of them, but this one's teed up perfectly right in his wheelhouse, and he gets all of it. The Wild have put themselves in the driver's seat, now extending their lead to two in the second. Well, they're certainly deserving of their position in this game now, James. They got the go-ahead goal, and then they got that buffer goal. I mean, just to give them a little bit of wiggle room, they can take a breath, and now they can be a little more creative with the puck. Quick pass to 
to Amadio. Rocked him. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Quick feed to Stahl. Here's a shot. Stops him with a glove. Not shy about throwing a reverse hit, guys. That's his back at you zone ability, and he can really surprise incoming checkers. Stahl's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Moves the puck up to hit Estroza. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Klingberg. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. And Ross loving the puck. He's got a step. Oh, the eyes of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Rocked him in the open ice. The Leafs take it along the wing. Set in deep, and the forwards will go to the bench. Minnesota's looking to break out. Moves it quickly over to Kane. Battle along the wall. And the puck's kick free. Takes the feed. There's a collision. Toronto's got the puck. Moves it to Marner. Quick shot. Oh, gets a piece of it with his glove and it keeps out. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Minnesota's on the attack. Fires it. Too much congestion in front. Taken along the wall by Marner. The Leafs gain possession. There's another hit on the play. He's going to feel terrible tomorrow, James. Over and over again, he's been bottled. Moves the puck along the half wall. And he slides it quickly to Champion. Oh, solid save by Jones. And he loses control of the puck. Into the offensive zone. Rocks him. Feeds the cross ice pass to Burns. Minnesota's in now. Slides the puck down low. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. And it banks off a stick in traffic. Here's a short pass to Volker. He got all of that one. McCabe's great snaps in two, and he gets back to the bench to get a new one in, back into the play. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Quick pass to Heatley. Goes right to the crease. Comes up with the stop. The Leafs have had a lot of things go their way tonight, except for the score in which they trail here in the second. Collins won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Now a quick pass to Niskanen, and that's blocked away. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Riley's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Dumped in and they'll go off. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Looks to pass it to Yarncourt. All alone! And not much on that one. And Ross got it in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Vanek. Minnesota's in on the offensive attack now. Oh, I think that goes off the mask. And it stays out and play continues. Feed to Panic. Glove save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Face off looming as both centers get into position. Matthews wins the draw inside his defensive zone. And now he angles it across to Marner. Minnesota's got the puck against the board. running in the game and your opponent is chasing and that's exactly what's happening right now. Man, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is and he's got to hit the back of the net. 
Minnesota's firepower in full effect tonight as they continue to dominate late in period number two. Uh, and this is the collective and cohesive effort as well. And you know in the intermission, there's going to be a lot of chatter and some relaxation laughs in that dressing room because they have this lead, they have this game. They just want to come out and continue to play the way they started it. Second period nearly in the books here. Takes that pass back at the point. And he slides it quickly to Kane. Hot moved over to Marner. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. And smacks the puck out of midair. And he can't hang on after that hit. leader of this team. He is their captain. They've been behind the eight ball, behind all game. They've got to find a way to get back with this offensive zone face off. One goal can create some momentum. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. It's going to throw back to 80s hockey here, and we are underway here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Minnesota's been dominant through two periods of play, James. They have a comfortable lead now, and the coach can look down their bench and say, hey, listen, let's get everyone out there. Let's maintain the energy. Let's finish this off right. Let's bring it home. Makes the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Officials getting ready to drop the puck to get play back underway. Minnesota's won the draw, no goal to work. Turned aside with the club by Jones. Minnesota's on total cruise control early in this third period. They win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Jones makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Minnesota's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. Back of the way as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Scores! Break out the quad chair on the ski lift because that's a opponent on their heels. Minnesota's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Michael's been having himself a time out there tonight, and he's dancing, he's found the puck, and he's moving it. The reason why he's got four points, and also a reason why his team's blowing their opponent out of the water right now. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here we go, two on one. Passes it over. Smart defensive effort to break up that play. Oh, he'll feel that one. That's gloved by Jones. Minnesota's offense has been a thing to watch tonight as they lead it big time here early in the third. Koibu's won the draw and they're on the attack. Tremendous stop by Jones. Minnesota's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Coy moves won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Misses wide. 
The Leafs will play it from the defensive no. side. Moves it quickly over to Koivu. Denies him on the one-timer! And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And he takes the feed. Poked away by Niskanen. Silverberg's got the puck in his own zone. Pass it up ahead. Moves it to Niskanen. And that's off a stick. He got all of that hit on the play. Puck picked up in the open ice. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the refs have seen enough in this one now, and they're going to get offsetting penalties or coincidentals. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-one all over. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Oh, scores! And they finally stop the bleeding and answer back. Well, it ain't over yet. Anytime you can claw your way back into a game, and there's time on the clock, there's an opportunity to answer. There's so much traffic in front, James. I'm not sure whether making yourself big is the right thing or just trying to have a flashy glove save like he just did there. Can't find the puck. That's the big thing with all of the net front presence. Can't see it, can't track it, and it winds up in the back of the net. Toronto's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. Here's a short pass to Cullen. Smart heads up, play to intercept the pass. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. Minnesota showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. Toronto's won the faceoff at center. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Logan Pilsen got some bodies here on the attack. Makes a save. Oh, and this is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle. And the goaltender is so dialed in, trapping and makes that save. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Minnesota's motor has been non-stop tonight. Lots of shots on net, and they lead in the third. And off the draw, they win possession. Quick pass to Granlin. Takes the pass. No room for that one to get through. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Can't connect as it goes off a stick. Takes the feed at the point. Hammers a shot. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Lights him up into the boards. Minnesota's top line is going to come. Scores! And there's the hat trick, and this place is silent. Well, he's licking his chops when he goes on the road, hey, James? And he gets his hat. I mean, he's been feeling it, but when he's on the road, he's something else. Well, it's hard to miss from this distance, but you got to get there and you got to get the puck on your stick. He does a great job of getting in tight. The Wild have continued this onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. And it's a quick pass to Michael. Moves the puck. Skates across the line. Well, this game is wild, James. End-to-end -end action. Let's just forget the defense, shall we? And just go with the goal calls. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Denies him again. I'm not sure if anyone's helping him out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Change up, change up. 
to Matthews. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Shot! Oh, he had the answer on that one. The Sharks are up next, according to the league's schedule makers, and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. Minnesota's dominated in the puck possession department, putting plenty of shots on net, and they lead by a wide gap in the third. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Kofi. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. And it's kicked away. Back to the blue line. And he takes the dish. Takes the feed. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Minnesota's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. Cullen's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. Cullen's won the draw. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Across the line from center. Moves it to Timmins. What a great read breaking up the pass. Gets the puck in deep. Toronto's got the puck. And that pass goes off a stick. The Leafs played along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Yarko. Comes up with the stop. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Here they come up along the wing. Quick pass to Cullen. Well saved made by Jones. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Standing by Carlin Bade with her own thoughts on the head-to-head -head matchup tonight. Gradlin's been able to contribute by generating scoring chances, and you know his teammates appreciate it. I think he's been the player that stood out for me, guys. Flag got the puck now in his own end. Wicked stop by the goaltender. Oh, there's one more. Slides the puck across to Bertuzzi. Puck away. Misses the net. Oh. Uh, this might be a product of the goaltender challenging and getting to the top of the crease, trying to be fine, and just misses the net. Oh, did the rink rattle after that collision in the corner? Nearing the final minute of the third. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Here's a short pass to Michael. Scores! And the pylon continues, and these home fans, I think, have had about enough. Yeah, they have had enough, and they made money, and they're leaving the building. Why? Because they are frustrated with their team just the lack of effort today and just getting blown out of the water.